We are in Plains, Georgia. It is a very <laughs> small place to be. <laughs> it is. Plains is super small. It's like under 500 people, but a super cool community. Yes, it is so quaint and cute. I love it. <laughs> so, Becky, tell, tell uh, everyone why we're in Plains, Georgia. This is the home of Jimmy Carter, the 39th president. Yeah, Jimmy Carter. And in this video, we're going to show you around the fight the five, the five top sites here in Plains associated with Jimmy Carter. And this first one is Plains High School where he and his wife graduated. Yes, this is run by the National Park Service. In fact, I think three of the places that we're gonna show you are run by the National Park Services and then two surprises. Yes, two surprises at the end. The second place we're going to take you to, are we telling all three? All no. Five? No, uh -uh. Oh, forget it. We're just going to stay <laughs> here at Plains High School. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go into Plains, show you around this really cool museum about Jimmy Carter. So this is one of my favorite parts of the museum, the high school auditorium. Yes, and it's not only a cool room, they show a video that's about 20 minutes long of the history of Jimmy Carter in Plains, Georgia, and it's actually really fascinating. Really well-made documentary, so I think you should start here, don't mm -hmm. you think so? I think so. And then there are only about, what? Four, five, six rooms? Yeah, it's not a huge museum, but it's really cool to see the desks and all the facts about planes and, and all the things that he and Rosalind, is it Rosalind? Uh, Rosalind. 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 Rosalind Carter. <laughs> all the things that they stood for and all the wonderful things they did for the community of Plains. So they get you to start at the principal's office. <laughs> Not a good place to start. <laughs> and then a really cool looking classroom, desks like I had when I was a kid. <laughs> yes, and then later you get to actually sit at the president's desk. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's show them that. Okay. All right, here we go, I'm gonna flip the camera around. All right, go ahead, Becky. All right, so you got several parts to the museum, of course. Kind of tells you about life here in Plains. Here is the campaign of 1976, and then the presidential desk. <laughs> First female president right here. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Did you want fries with that? <laughs> And here's one of the coolest things, I think. Here's the Nobel Peace Prize right here. Isn't that cool? So, that was a kind of a quick tour of the museum. And don't forget to walk around the perimeter of the building because they have other historic type stuff there too. So that is the Plains High School, Jimmy Carter Presidential Museum. Pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so let's now head out and we'll find some more historic places. We're hoping to go to Jimmy Carter's boyhood home. All right, so stop number two on your Plains, Georgia tour is... Jimmy Carter's Boyhood Farm. And this is really cool. It's located about 
four or five miles outside of town? Yeah, not very far at all. Yeah, not very far. So it's right around the corner. And one thing I love about Plains, Georgia and some of these historic sites, there is no park rangers. It's just wide open to the public. <laughs> yes, it's and really it's free. Cool. It's just so cool. It's very well maintained. They've yeah. got cool things. You can push buttons and they let you see so much. Like it's not off limits. Yep, so. exactly. So let me flip the camera around. Another neat feature. Here's the old railroad track right across the street. And then right next door to the uh, Carter residences past that Magnolia tree is their uh, store that they ran back in the 30s and 40s. Yeah, that was news to me. That's pretty cool. Right next door to their house, they ran a store. And then of course, kind of the main feature of the tour, his boyhood home, which is really cool. It surprised me how big it was. You know what surprised me? The sand. It's like it's a beachfront home. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much sand in the yard. You'd think that the beach is right across the street. <laughs> <laughs> and also, Jimmy Carter was born an average middle-class American, and he has a tennis court in his uh, yeah. lawn. Yeah, his dad was the one that liked to play, and so it's a, what, a clay court, you yep, said? Yeah, clay court, so those aren't too expensive to maintain. You build it himself. So as you walk through the home, uh, you'll see a nice size living room. I think there were three bedrooms. Yeah, three bedrooms, a uh, kitchen. A little breakfast area, it said. Yeah, nice front porch back porch. Yeah, it's a nice sized house. Yeah, really nice southern home too. And of course, Jimmy Carter's bedroom. That's pretty cool to know that when he was just a little boy going through high school, uh, this is where he grew up. And also the National Park Service, they actually maintain this farm. Yeah, there's some corn growing and uh, there are some animals still on the farm. We saw a couple of horses and some, what were those, goats? And uh, it's pretty cool that they keep it up and running. You could spend uh, how much time here, do you think? I think it's kind of fun just hanging. It's so peaceful oh, here. I mean, beautiful. I'd say an hour or two if you want to just really go take your time and look at everything. Yeah, there's really a lot to do. And like Becky just said, it's just kind of a neat, quiet, peaceful place to hang out. Mm -hmm. So Jimmy Carter's Boyhood Home, number two on the list of historic sites here in Plains, Georgia. Next up, let's go into town and show them one of the coolest things, the old train station that was Jimmy Carter's uh, campaign headquarters back in 1976. All right, so next up is a really cool spot, the train station here in downtown Plains. Yes, the depot where he ran his campaign headquarters, and there's a really important reason why they picked this spot. Yeah, why is that reason? <laughs> it was the only place in town with a flushing toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take you on a quick tour here. Now here is where it's located. You can see downtown Plains. Downtown Plains is only one block long, really neat little community. And then across the street down here is Jimmy Carter's presidential campaign headquarters. And this was a super notable site back in 1976 when he ran uh, for president. All right, so here's a quick tour. Can imagine how busy this place must have been back in 1976. Um, one of the neat things about all these locations is often Jimmy Carter's actually narrating, taped narration of uh, that time period. All right, here it is. All right, check this out. You can't go in, but behind this door is the flushing toilet. <laughs> <laughs> 
So it's a neat little place. Look at how kind of old and quaint it is. Famous sign up here. This is Carter Country. Uh, welcome to Plains, Georgia. Of course, the famous peanut. Here's something neat too. I, I actually remember this. Uh, he left office in 1981 and uh, Hundreds and hundreds of people welcomed him home. And his time period in office was pretty rough on the, the Carters and the nation, uh, but the people of Plains really welcomed him home. Yes, they had the largest potluck, bring a dish, <laughs> to celebrate Jimmy Carter and the whole town came and everybody brought a dish. <laughs> but show them my favorite part over here. Oh, this is cool, yeah. <laughs> that big old TV with a tiny screen. <laughs> yeah. Not up to today's standards, but. Yeah, we had a TV much like that one back in the 70s. And it's kind of highlighting uh, Jimmy Carter's run for the presidency. It's just a little documentary there. So that's really neat. So this is a neat place. You can read a lot about the history. You know, spend probably about an hour here if you wanted to or, or more. It's a neat place and kind of imagine the trains that came uh, through here. Oh yes, they had, um, that was another thing I remember uh, watching in the video from the Plains High School, was that when his inauguration came, they had many passenger trains come through here and took all of the townspeople to go to the inauguration of Jimmy Carter. They were very proud that Plains, Georgia had elected the President of the United States. So that is the uh, third spot, the uh, famous train depot. Next spot I really like too. In fact, right across the street, let me flip the camera around again. Next spot up, just walk right across the street and you can come to Billy Carter's service station. So right across the street from the train depot, one of my favorite spots. Billy's Gas Station. <laughs> this is uh, President Carter's brother. He owned a gas station here in Plains and he was always on the news and stuff. He was kind of a character. Yes, I, I remember hearing about him when I was little. This is Philip 66. So let me <laughs> turn around here. Yeah, the Philip 66 station. You can see it's right across from downtown. And still have the old gas pumps here. I remember these type of old gas pumps. You can't really gas work. Like a fill up, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. There oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty neat place. Little museum inside here. Oh, here it is. Guess how much? time this operated? Uh, 99 cents. One dollar and 38 cents oh, a gallon. Wow, I wish we were back in those days. Yeah. So here is Billy Carter's gas station. This is not a part of the national park system. Look, they've got the... Oh, the old Coke bottles. They're the little ones. Does the uh, machine open up? Um, it, yep. yes. There's no Cokes in it though. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go inside and take a look around.
All right, so, so far, what we've we done, we've shown you uh, Jimmy Carter's high school, part of the National Park System. His boyhood farmhouse home. Yeah, really cool. The uh, train depot that was made famous during the 1976 presidential election. With the flushing toilet. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Billy Carter's gas station behind us. Now off to the edge of town. One of my uh, kind of favorite spots. It's kind of historic. The Smiling Peanut. <laughs> I mean, you cannot talk about Jimmy Carter without talking about peanuts. So we got to go see it. All right, let's go. So we made it out to the 13 foot tall Smiling <laughs> Peanut. <laughs> you can't miss this. It's right on the edge of town. It's on County Road 45. It's in the parking lot of N and K Food Mart. And Hunt Brothers Pizza. Hunt Brothers Pizza. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the history of this, Becky. I have no idea, but I know it's 13 feet tall. <laughs> yeah, and if Becky kept reading the historic marker, she would know. <laughs> it's that... about 1976. <laughs> <laughs> Tells all about it. 1976 presidential rally in Evansville, Indiana. Uh, they had this at that uh, particular event, and so it was moved here in 76. It's been named as one of the top 50 roadside attractions. Huzzah! <laughs> <laughs> I love this smiling peanut. <laughs> All right, so when visiting Plains, Georgia, those are the top historic sites. There's actually a few more. And uh, one thing I just like about Plains, <laughs> what happened? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what I love about Plains, which I think Becky will love too, beautiful houses everywhere. Yes, they do have beautiful, and trees, the trees are gorgeous yeah. here. It is like a, just a cool old southern town with a lot of presidential history. Anything, any last words? <laughs> so you made no, fun it of is actually really cool. I've enjoyed it. <laughs> All right, so make your way down to Plains, Georgia.